Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. I want to apologize to you guys for not uh, recording um, in the last couple weeks. One of the reasons why is because, um, and hopefully this will illustrate how delicate this is. Um, when you when you save and exit the game, your combine header actually becomes disconnected. And one of the problems I was having with this save game was that I couldn't rehitch it, but today suddenly I could, I could. I've been trying it like almost every day, sometimes multiple times. And I finally today, there wasn't any patches, but I can finally um, get the header, you know, reconnected. So thank you to whoever, I don't know, the, the powers that be, I guess. Um, Let's see here. Header on, off. Okay, so we're going to continue on. Uh, we're going to harvest as much as we can off this field here. And then I'm going to shock you guys. Well, not really shock you. Going to shock you. Oh, yeah. No, it's... I was trying to think of, of some, like, awesome 80s song with that. Because that would... That's totally, like, the the type of lyrics that would be in a 80s song i'm gonna shock you yeah baby <laughs> okay i sound like justin beaver um is that his name justin beaver is he's canadian oh uh, <laughs> everybody everyone who's canadian is now unsubscribing now but um okay so we've got Okay, that's good. All right, let's transition to our, this thing, whatever it is. Um, unhitch the bail wagon and, oh, oh, what, where am I going? Oh, we, we actually could fill that up. Maybe I'll do that, wait a second. I'm not gonna shock you just yet. Cause I need to figure out, let's see, what do we got? Oh man, we've only got 32%, okay. How the heck did the fuel on this get so low? Gonna have to gas up, baby. <laughs> so, I have no, I just made up that melody. I don't know if it's like a real song or what. Um, try to think what else has been going on. Oh, I've been playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, love the game, can't recommend it because it is so buggy. I'm actually stuck in the game right now. And I can't progress because um, there are multiple quests that I'm on that are all bugged, and I can't progress in any of them. I had to take a drink of water there. Okay, so three, so we're 76, so we can go up to the world. So we basically need a thousand more. Is that right? This is, this is creeping me out. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down. I'm just gonna sell this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna buy the large Flegel trailer. <clears throat> now, the only reason I haven't purchased it prior to now was because I was under the mistaken belief that you couldn't connect that trailer up. Which you actually can. You can connect it to the the old tractor. But I think like the equipment, like the cedars, like anything that requires power off the tractor, um, you can't. Why is it? Why can I hear these guys so well right now? Yeah, anything that requires power off of the uh, is it the PTO? The I don't know. Whatever the little power coupler thing is, um, will not work. But I, the trailers work. Um, I don't think the uh, the big diarrhea sprayer will, though. But I don't know. I could be wrong. So yeah, I've been playing uh, King uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to Far Cry 5. I'm probably going to pick that up again. And then, well, again, it's not even out to pick it up. The huge news. 
um, which is going to suck for everybody who loves Farming Simulator, is Battletech, they've set a tentative release date for April 2018. So that's, you know, in a couple hours it's going to be March 1st. And uh, so we basically have a month to go, maybe two months, you know, if it's like March or April 30th. But um, Battletech is coming out, and I am so looking forward to that game. Uh, I do plan on doing a series on it. Um, you guys might like it. You guys might not. Um, it is turn-based strategy, but oh my gosh, I love Battletech so much. Um, I'll probably be telling like Battletech stories from my youth, um, and it'll. I think it'll be a fun. Excuse me while I belch, and you don't hear it. I'm hoping it'll be like a really fun series. Um, it's not going to be like child safe, I don't think. There might be some cussing in it. Um, I, I will try to keep it to a minimum, but um, <laughs> I I don't know. We're, we're just going to have to wait and see how, how it goes. Uh, but I am totally looking forward to it. I actually had a dream last night. I just found out about this. Um, was it yesterday? It, it was either yesterday or this morning that I found out about it. <clears throat> and um, I want to say it was yesterday. Anyways, I, had, I took a nap this afternoon, so I still could have had a dream. Um, I had a dream that I was playing it, and then I, when I woke up, I was so freaking disappointed. And I was like, no, I went back in time, and I can't play it now. Oh, I was so mad. I, well, I wasn't mad. I was just like, man, that sucks. Do you ever have, like, a dream that you're, you know, on vacation, or you bought, a new, like, your dream car, or something like that, and then, you know, you wake up, and it's, like, not real? And then you're like, daggone it. <laughs> it was like, it was exactly like that, you guys. Oh my gosh. This tractor is literally like the fastest tractor in the known universe. Depends on how you look at that. Um, yeah, so I, I, you know, hope, well, like a half hour ago, I was going to start recording, and then I couldn't get the header connected, and, uh, again, and then, you know, so I came back, and I got it, did, or I got it connected, so then I reloaded the game, and that's when I started recording again, and it finally connected, so I was like, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That would have totally... And I wasn't even thinking it, you know, when the when I loaded the game. Immediately after loading the game, I was like, No, why did I do that? And luckily, it, you know, I came back in and it worked again. So there's our pallet thingy. All right, 18 grand. But this is basically going to um, kind of speed things up for us quite a bit. It's so it's so big that you can't even see the tractor. It's like, hey, there's just a trailer going down the road. So let's see. Nope. Pipe is in. All right, let's move. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to harvest this entire field, if not the entire field, very close to it, um, with just that one flegal trailer. Just having to make one trip. So that'll be good. That'll really be good. Uh, what else has been going on? Oh, I, 
The other thing is, I started playing Star Citizen again. Um, I got my password uh, problem <clears throat> uh, figured out. I was having a... They have kind of like a really strange... Um, it's, not, it's not a strange authentication process, but the way they make you make your passport or passwords is kind of weird because I usually don't um, do passwords that way. I kind of have like my own password, um, you know, structure the way I, I formulate passwords so that I don't forget them. Um, but I kept forgetting my Star Citizen password. And so, anyway, I finally got it all resolved. I think they've actually changed it um, because the password that I've been wanting to use um, is usable now. And why do I always do that? There we go. So, anyway, um, I started playing the, uh, the, I guess, Persistent Universe 3.0 is out. And it, I, I don't know if it's the full persistent. Well, it's obviously not the persist full persistent universe, because there's basically only one star system um, in the game right now. But oh my gosh, they've changed so much. It's gotten so much better. It's still not like a game game, but you can really, really start to see where Star Citizen is heading. Um, and it kind of blew me away the other day. Like, I, I was... I didn't know if you could land on planets. So I, w I went to this planet, and I was just, like, in orbit around. It just looked like a planet, like in any other game, you know. And so I decided to... Okay, I'm just going to fly towards it and see if I could land on it. So I'm getting closer and closer, and I'm, like, I'm just like, Wow, the surface is really detailed. I wonder when the planet surface is going to change, and it's going to be crappy like every other game. And I keep descending and descending, and it's like, oh, there's a big mountain range there and a big valley. You know, you could see the the valley going up, you know, I don't know, going away from where the mountain was. And I keep descending and descending. Eventually, I'm flying through the valley towards the mountain. And it was like, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely amazing how they're doing planets. And put... Apparently, I don't know if down the road um, they're going to have procedurally generated planets, but um, they definitely could eventually do that. Uh, maybe not in the first release, but oh my gosh. <clears throat> um, I started taking a look at um, some of the other people in the game were letting me look at their ships, and I'm just like, this game is going to be freaking amazing when it comes out. No joke. So, I don't know. We're, we'll see. Um, where is my... There he is. I think to, I think to get the uh, Persistent Universe... Well, basically, Star Citizens uh, plus Squadron 42. Squadron 42 is not even out yet. That's the single player version um it's i think it's 65 bucks um you can go to robertsspaceindustries.com to check it out if you want um if you're into those type of games it's it's looking like it's going to be really good it's not really a full-fledged game i mean it is horribly alpha right now um it doesn't run well even on my pc which is pretty high end um, you know, if you've got like a subpar PC, I, I probably wouldn't recommend it, but, um, let's see what else has been going on last week. Uh, you could actually buy this game again. You could actually purchase farmer's dynasty. It was available for sale. And then I think it was like Saturday or something, or maybe it was last Friday. Um, they got hit by another DMCA. Um, so they're still trying to fight back against it, um, but could be a couple more weeks before the game is uh, available for purchase again at the earliest. So very frustrating, I'm sure, especially for the people who want it. But, you know, put it on your watch list. Well, if you can, um, 
since it's not showing up on the store, I know it's kind of hard to, but check every day um, to see if it's it becomes available. If you're really dying to get uh, this game, it's totally worth it. <sighs> well, I've been like super thirsty lately. I don't know what's going on with me. Eight, nine... Okay. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of hard to tell where you're going. I don't know where I'm going. But I sure know where I've been. Singing some white snake for you guys. All the kids are like, what's White Snake? That's racist. No, I don't know. <laughs> That's terrible. In this day and age, though, you can never be too sure. It's, you know, with with our current president and all the controversy and everything, I, I try to completely just keep politics absolutely out of my mind. It's like I stopped caring. It's just so... It's so... You know, it just, it like, rips you, you know, you know your friends apart. Because if you have, like, a disagreement with somebody and you're like, well, I don't agree and here's why, people can't seem to have a civil conversation about anything. And the next thing you know, you're, like, yelling and screaming at people and you don't even want to be around them anymore. And... Um, you know, it, it seems like that's kind of the way the world is going because of Facebook and things like that. But anyway, I don't want to I don't want to dwell on that because <clears throat> I'm having too much fun hanging out with you guys playing some Farmer's Dynasty. But yeah, I was so I, I was like, what what can I do? Because you, usually you can go in like, um, oh no, you have to hit the tab button. I can call the tow truck for the the to oh what oh I can call a tow truck for the powered part of the combine, but you cannot reset the headers. So make sure if you you know if you have this game, sign out or you know save go to go and to like a flat surface before you sign out before you save your game and exit this game because. You might get yourself into trouble. The other thing that was really freaking me out, though, is I, I always have two save games. Like, um, the last save game, like, this time when I save, I'll save over the save game from, like, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. And I always alternate that. That way, if one save game gets corrupted... You know, I only lose maybe like an hour's worth of work, something like that, and it's not the end of the known universe. Because <clears throat> it really, really sucks when you, you know, lose, you know, five or six hours of gameplay. It's just... You literally want to punch a monkey. Um, so... I, you know, I, I was looking... I was going to... I was literally almost ready to just give in and be like, okay... I'm going to go back to my old save game. I don't know how long it was since, you know, when it exactly I saved or, you know, how many hours I was going to lose. And so I was, I was kind of freaking out about it. And luckily, um, I just, I'm like, I'm going to try this one more time. There, there's got to be something I'm doing wrong. And for whatever reason, um, you know, I was able to reconnect uh, the header to the combine and avert the trip avert the tragedy because oh man I was really sweating bullets there <clears throat> two four six seven eight nine okay
Look at the flegel. Why is the... But the tires looked better than that. I had some really, <clears throat> really weird things uh, happen. Um, when I came back into the game, like, my video quality was, like, to the lowest. And, uh-oh. Now I'm going to get flagged for the music. Oop, we're 50% full. Turn that back on. <clears throat> yeah, it's just having this, you know, this larger trailer, it's just really going to cut down on the time that we have to take going, you know, constantly going back and forth between, you know, a field and the, uh, the windmill. And hopefully that would actually, you know, because I was realizing that, well, I can buy the new tractor, but then I'm not going to have enough money to keep on buying fields. I'm not going to have, um, you know, enough money to actually buy the, the tipper trailer or the, or the bailing trailer. I want to buy a bale trailer too. And, um, yeah, so I was kind of like, uh oh, what do I do? So I just made the decision to, to buy the larger trailer now. Um, completely stop using the small trailer. And then, you know, hopefully be good to go. So that's what I did. So far, it's working out. Four, five, six, eight, nine. Okay. So, yeah, we're, you know, Far Cry. When does Far Cry 5 come out? Um, let me look it up on my Mac here for a second. Uh, Far Cry 5. Oh, wow. That was, um, release date is March 27th, which is going to be hilarious because if Battletech comes out like two days later, I'm never going to play it. I'm going to just be playing Battletech probably the whole time. All right, let's see, we are, yeah. <clears throat> it's like Battletech trumps Far Cry 5. Battletech is kind of good though, because you can, I can, well, I don't know. I don't know if I can. I might just be like, you know, have to get like an IV with fluids and lipids and like a, like a feeding tube, you know? And I'll just like poop in my bed. <laughs> And I'll just, like, sit and play Battletech for, like, you know. I'll have, like, some kind of drug that keeps me awake 24-7. No, it's terrible. Um, but it is going to be freaking crazy because I'm going to be playing it like crazy. I am so looking for. Oh, my gosh. It's like the culmination of... It's the game I've been waiting for for well over 20 years. Uh, when did Battletech 2 come out? It was like Battletech, the Crescent Hawk's Inception. That was the very first computer Battletech that ever came out, that, that I'm aware of at least. Um, and then they had Battletech 2. Or it might have just been called Battletech, the Crescent Hawk's Revenge. I'd, I'd have to look it up. And... Um, so what, what, whatever year that came out, I'm not, I'm, I don't know exactly. I actually have my my original BattleTech up on my shelf in my um, in my mm -hmm. office here right now. I'm, I can look up and look at it. I would look up and look at it more, but then I would crash my combine, and you know that wouldn't be good.
And I love the cover. I love the cover from the original Battletech game, too. It, I think it's got a poster in there of, like, the full size. Maybe I'll have... Maybe I should, like, scan that poster. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, okay. I should, like, scan the poster at, like, really high resolution and then Photoshop out all the fold lines because, you know, it's folded into the box there. And, um... And then, like, I don't know, put it, make it available somewhere. Of course, it's probably, like, copyrighted or something like that, but, um, <laughs> I just think that would be cool to do, because I've never seen, like, a really high-resolution version of that um, poster available anywhere. I'll make a 4K, um, you know, like, desktop wallpaper <laughs> for for all of my fans. And I think I think there was even a poster in the second BattleTech game, but that one I think is I think I've got that down in the garage somewhere, so I'll have to look around for it. We are we're actually making pretty good time on this field. I didn't think uh, it would go this fast, but it's actually going fast because we can spend more time actually harvesting than, you know, driving down to the mill to take our wheat uh, into the mill. So that's good. We're not overflowing. We're almost overflowing. Come on. Boom. There we go. Yeah, if you guys want to learn more about Battletech, um, uh, check out, I think it's battletechgame.com, which is like their current website. Um, you can also go to Kickstarter and search for Battletech, um, uh, and the Battletech game should come up. Uh, and, and if you're just going to wait, uh, well, it, it, I think the Steam pre-order is available right now. I think if you search for Battletech on Steam, I think the pre-order is available. Um, let me look at Steam here. Where is Steam? There it is. Ah! That's what happens when I don't drive. Um do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh gosh. See I'm looking at Steam. I'm trying to look at Steam at the same time as I'm trying to play a game and it's just not working. I, mean, I I've seen like a lot of hate for Steam here lately too, because um apparently the uh the, the guys doing Battletech are, I think they're only releasing it on Steam. Or you might be able to get, like, just a direct download version, one of the two. And, like, there are people, like, I will never get Steam, blah, blah, blah. You know, I kind of used to feel the same way a long time ago, but it... The nice thing about Steam is, you know, you can... You have all your games in one spot, and it updates your your games for you um, when they need to be updated, if you have it set that way. Um, let's see here. Why isn't... Oh, come on, Mac. Why, why, why are you doing this? There we go. Steamer B... Let's see. Store... 
I'm just gonna go to the store page and search for battle tech one word B-A-T-T-L-E-T-E-C-H. Yes, it is uh, on there. It's available for pre-order. $39.99. I'm not getting a freaking red scent for it. I'm not even getting a blue scent. Or any scents. <laughs> I'm just... If you like strategy games, um, if you like turn-based strategy games, if you like gigantic robots and stuff blowing up, um, there's going to be... It's a full single-player campaign. Um, which they say is going to take a long time. Um, from the sound of it, it is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, Uh-oh. Is this the last? Okay. So I can, I can get 200 more. And then that should fill up the, uh, the, the tipper here. Um, yeah, it, it just sounds like the campaign... You're, we're going to have our own jump ship or drop ship or maybe both, um, which is freaking amazing. Um, that's I don't think jump ships are, have ever been modeled in the Battletech universe before. Um, so th that'll be pretty cool. Um, I don't know how it's going to work as far as, like, traveling around. Uh, they say that the entire inner sphere, which is basically, like... The entire map of the the game world is not being rendered. Um, only a portion of it is. Um, but that's not to say that you know they could come out with like DLCs later on that um, you know they couldn't add more planets and stuff like that. So you know my hope is that they set the groundwork with this game <clears throat> and then they come back and, and add more content maybe once a year, every year or so um, that is my hope that is my hope and my dream and if that doesn't happen um, there's already people going crazy talking about modding the game and everything else so um, it should be pretty pretty cool I'm usually not one for modding, but I can. Ar I, ar I already know of some mods that I will definitely jump on if uh, if they become available. Unseen Max. <laughs> you guys, are like, what is he talking about? Like, shut up about BattleTech already. You know what? I never look at the uh, look on top of the tractor. The, the little um, rod that's for the steering, look, it actually moves. I never noticed that before. Cutting across the field. Oh, this is gonna be so awesome. Let's see, how much money do we have? Oh, wait. We have 19,615. I wanna keep all my social points because um, I want to use the social points for, like, the vehicles. Oh, another thing, too. They, they released a patch. It's like the marriage patch. <clears throat> so, apparently, it's a lot easier to pick up chicks now. Yep. You heard it here first, folks. And apparently you can only hit on them like once every day. Let's see here. Raise the trailer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's already going over to the side. It's still going. That's all. That's that's the important thing. Wow. Okay. So we got a nice amount off of that. Uh, speaking of hitting on chicks, I just want to. I think probably the two of the best prospects. Hello, weird running deer. 
I'm gonna check this girl out. And if I don't if I don't find her attractive, I would go and hit on Zoe because she's probably like one of the more attractive female characters in the game. Um, hello, but she, this oh this one's a ginger. I'm busy. Nope. <laughs> Everybody's like, hey, what do you have against red gingers? I don't have anything against gingers. But that that hair is like unnaturally red. I wonder if they finally um I wonder if they finally uh gave more hairdos because one of the bad things about the you know picking up a chick was like half of them like they looked like they were white but they had like more African hair um or vice versa though you know I guess African hair you know you can straighten it more easily um than I don't know going there I don't know I don't I'm not a hair expert don't claim to be but um and then like probably 80 percent of the rest of the women didn't even have hair so they just kind of had like these you know marxist totalitarian totalitarianism buzz cut, <laughs> these buzz cuts and you were like what no and i think this is janet up here or zoe I think this is Zoe. It's Zoe. It's Zoe. Hey, baby. No, no, you will talk now. Whoa, what's up with it? What? what? What happened to your hair? You got a different haircut. Um. All right. Well, we'll still hit on her. She's got like short hair now. Good afternoon. <gasps> Good afternoon. You look like the prince, and I'm just—you just hit on her once. I've been looking for my entire life. But we're gonna have to come back and like keep working on it. It is her. so nice to hear. Thank you. You're welcome, babes. Um, uh, no, we're not gonna hit on you, feller. Um, I'm just gonna leave the pickup up here for right now. I think. Uh. Oh gosh. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Hopefully I'll be able to get the uh, the field finished. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able... Well, we got plenty of daylight here. I want to get the field like totally finished, though. I want to get all of the, uh, the baling done, which might not happen. It's probably not going to happen in this episode. We might get... I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll fast forward it or what I'll do. Like, part of me still wants to go and get, like, a, you know, like a trailer. Like, the, the large bale trailer. Again, for the same reason, you know, you don't have to put all the bales. Or, you know, you don't have to make multiple trips with the, the bales and so on. Oh shoot, I was gonna see how much that field back there cost, the, the wheat field back. Bakar. Because I don't think there's a wheat trailer at this, uh, this farm shop. Do 
I'm trying to think what else has been going on. It's been raining like crazy, especially like last weekend. I think we got like five or six inches of rain in like a single day. And there was even, I don't know if, I don't know if they confirmed it as a tornado, but um, it was, I don't know, it's like around midnight. I don't know if it was Friday or Saturday night. The storms, like the tornado sirens went off at like 11 o'clock at night or something like that. And I was like, whoa, that's not, that's not when they're supposed to test the weather sirens. Um, because they always test the weather sirens the first Wednesday of every month at noon. Which, you know, now today's, today's Wednesday. It'll be like next Wednesday for the March test. And, um, which is kind of weird. I usually, like where I live, I usually don't hear the storm siren tests. But I heard these, I heard the storm sirens the other night and they were loud. I couldn't believe how loud they were. And I kind of got freaked out because, I mean, it was, it was, it had rained very hard probably maybe 20 minutes before that. Like, I was sitting here in my office at my desk, and you could just hear the rain just beating down outside. And, um, yeah, it was raining super hard. And then, it, you know, then it kind of eased up. And then, like I said, 20 minutes after that... I started hearing the storm sirens and I'm like, well, this isn't good. Turn on the weather channel and they're like, yep, we've got like tornadic activity. And, you know, they're trying to say there's like a tornado nearby and whatnot. Actually, it wasn't even nearby. It was like at the very southern end of the county. Um, so it was probably, you know, at least 25 miles away, I would guess. Or, well, maybe maybe 20 miles as the bird, you know, the crow flies. Oh, why did I go that way? I didn't, well. The damage is done. Oh, gosh. Moving too fast. This might be the whole last load right here. And then it might not be. So yeah, I mean, lots of cool stuff has been happening. Um, I just got another uh, notification today that my next month for the DeLorean build um, is shipped out, but I haven't even finished um, issue 19 from like two months ago, from December, basically. Um, I'm missing issue 20. Uh, I can't get issue 20 anywhere. I can't get it in the U from the UK. I can't get it from... Um, the United States, the United States vendor has no idea, uh, when we're supposed to get it. I, as a matter of fact, I emailed them yesterday just saying, Hey, do you know when issue 20, you know, do you have an ETA? And they're like, we have no idea. That's literally what they said. We have no idea. So yeah, I have no, I, I have no idea. I have no idea why the people that don't have an idea can't email the people that might have an idea or that do have an idea aka the people that employ them or their bosses or managers and then that person could be like well you know what's the deal on these and you know so that they could get an estimate on on when uh they would have an idea so uh, i don't know all right so the next wheat field i think we're gonna buy the, the header up. Um, let's go to the map really quick. But I think it's going to be this guy over here. That one's 2.4. Yeah, this field right here is the one I'm going to buy next. So um, let's see. How much time do I have? Oh, I've got a little bit of time. I'm just going to take the uh, combine on over there. I can probably go ahead and take the tipper on over there as well. And then I got to figure out where I'm going to buy the bale trailer from. And the bale trailer is not really too expensive. 
Uh, let's see, where are we? So we're here. It's either going to be here or over here, and it's like the same distance to either one. Um, let's just jump out of here really quick. Because there's a bus station right here. Okay, here we go. And really? No kidding, there's not. Okay. So I guess we're going to have to go down here. Wait, that's not the... Yeah, I can see the bale trailer. And here's the new, um, there's the new Krampa trailer, which, um, have they? Yeah, this one holds more. It's actually 16,000 kilograms. Um, so I think it's actually bigger than the Flegel, which is 11,000 kilograms. And it's cheaper. This one's 18,000 euros. And what was this one? 16,000 euros. So, uh, and then here's the new baler. It's the, it, oh, it's a square baler. So, yep. And then, nope, this is not the new. Okay, anyway. Let's see. Buying one of these. Okay, $11,000. I want to see how much this field is. Because I want to, um, let's see. I want to make sure we have enough money for everything. We're going to make quite a bit of money off of this field. Okay, so this one's 14,000. So we got 25,000. Yeah, we're not going to have enough. Um, I mean, we would, but we would have essentially no money left. Um, let's see. Nope, I can't do that. Burring. So I guess we're just going to have to bail this field. We are going to buy the bail trailer first. <clears throat> Maybe I'll go and let's go ahead and do that and then um, we'll come back in the next episode and actually bail the field and then buy the next one. I think that'll kind of be the best you know resource for the best use of my time oh I keep the battle tech all the little screenshots are like cycling over on my Mac I keep looking over there like salivating I can't wait I can't wait I seriously can't you guys you guys have no this I I didn't even know that this game was in Kickstarter. I backed it after it came out of Kickstarter. If I had known that it had been in Kickstarter, I would have given, like, I'd be like, here's all my money. Here's everything that I own. And um, just let me, like, I would be, I would have been a character in the game. I just, I'd have given him that much money. I'm sure of it. You'd have had my face in the game. Uh, I would have been, like, the, the evil emperor or something. No, I don't know. But... <laughs> But anyway, um, uh, what? what what was that? Do 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 Oh, we, we should buy this field, too. We're going to buy this field eventually. You are really very hungry. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Um, one thing that's, like, super awesome about this new update, 
And I... Maybe I'll go over that in the next video. I'm debating whether or not I want to go over the. It's not changes. They're just like, well, there are they are changes because they're they're additions to the game. Um, basically, it's cooking. Um, you can actually use your kitchen to cook. Uh, if you've got milk, you can make condensed milk. If you've got fish, um, you can make um, one of two different canned fish meals, depending on which fish you have. Uh, if you've got tomatoes, you can make, like, the tomato soup, like we've got here. Um, if you've got pumpkins, you've got pumpkin soup. Um, oh my gosh, it's driving me nuts now. I'm not going to leave the truck here, as I said I would. I'm such a liar, you guys. <laughs> I'm lying to you. <laughs> um... Because I, I can't, if I don't have the truck back at the main farm, I can't teleport to the main farm, and I'm just driving off-road so I can get there as fast as I can and not waste y'all's time. Did I just say y'all's? You all. You all? No, that's that's terrible use of English. Your. Your time. I don't want to waste your time driving the slowest possible way from point A to point B. Hey man, she was booking it. Did you see her running? She was run running inhumanly fast. Um, another thing too is once you get like if you get married, if keyword being if, um, if you get married, you can't, or you can, you can. Your wife actually can go and get all of your eggs and all of your milk for you. So she can milk and egg every, you know, all the chickens and everything. And I, I think we've already milked these guys, haven't we? Yep. And whatever she milks, you know, all, all the milk and the eggs, she puts down and stares in the pantry, which is pretty cool. So yeah, you can come up here, um, you can use the kitchen. Uh, I only have milk, so we can make some condensed milk. And the condensed milk sells for basically twice the amount of just regular milk, which is nice. And, um, you know, so you can double your money just by, you know, sitting here and, and cooking it. Now, I haven't um, gone through any of the zucchinis or any of that stuff. Apples are up there. Now, I don't remember having apple trees. Though these kind of look like apple trees. But I don't know if... I have not seen any apples in game yet. Um, we also need to come over here. Because we haven't checked on these guys in a long time. And I don't know if you can even... Let's see. Does it say? It doesn't really say... Use the seed. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, these are definitely tomatoes here. And I think everything else is zucchinis because people are like, plant zucchinis, Brad. They're, you become a millionaire with zucchini, zucchinis. Um, so anyway, let's continue on. Let's get uh, this trailer purchased so we can get ready for the next episode. And I promise, guys, uh, next time I should be doing more. Now that I've got my save game fixed, um, we should be doing more episodes. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I need to make sure that I'm kind of on flat ground here. Because I don't want the same thing to happen again. Um, that's not very flat either. 
Um, where do, what do I do? Wait, that's kind of flat up here, maybe. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. Uh, okay. But once we have these two trailers, well, we have one trailer. Once we have the next trailer, um, then it's it's mainly going to be, you know, saving up the money for the new tractor. Um, I might even come down and start buying up a lot of these fields. There are some of these fields that okay, that like that one's barley, um, so I don't really want that one. <clears throat> but any of these fields down here that are wheat. Um, the two field there's there's actually two fields there there's one right above my head my head is touching it and there's another one a little bit beyond that those are both wheat um, this one is also wheat so we could buy any of these fields um, we are unfortunately a bit further away from the, uh, the mill and that's kind of where having the bigger tractor because uh, I think it goes like 34 or 36 kilometers per hour so it makes a huge difference um, having those, uh, having the faster tractor available for those missions. And then they also have that the the cheaper red tractor. It's a smaller Lindner. Um, I don't, I haven't bought it or anything like that in any of my test games. Whoops! I have to actually buy it. Uh, I bought it, didn't I? Oh, don't tell me this one won't connect to this. Oh no, man, I, I would have swore I had this one connected. Oh. Well, now we go get to bail the field and use our cheesy little bailer. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks so bad because now have to use all well on the bright side though we can just do bailing or we can just do harvesting and then when we come back to do the bailing you know if we can save up enough money just for the tractor just doing wheat harvesting and not doing the bailing then we can come back and you know do the bailing later and just like rake in the bucks Actually, the field up here, the, the, the two, the field that I'm going to buy and the field that I already have um, are really not too bad because they're relatively close to the bale selling point. We're down here. We're a lot further away. Um, oh, there's a canola field here, too, that I eventually want to buy. But Actually, we could buy that now. I wouldn't make a... That much, how, how much is this? Whoops. What is this? Wheat. How much is this field? 14,000. How much is this field? This is canola. 13,785. I think that's what it was. Um, not so worried about the canola right now. Oh, the sun's going down. Oh, man. Well, that was kind of a wasted trip over there. I'm sorry, guys. Well, at least I own a bale trailer. I just can't use it until I get a new, you know, the new tractor. Which I need 45000 for. But that's good, though, because, like I said, if we can do the, the harvesting, the wheat harvest and the baling on all those fields... <clears throat> using the small bale trailer, we're going to get a ton, I'm telling you, we're going to get a ton of bales. Um, we're at least going to get probably $12,000 just off this first field. We're probably going to get double that off the next field. 
on top of how much money we're going to get for the um, the wheat, which is going to easily be probably 15000 or more. So just off, you know, what we have right now, we could have enough money to buy. Oh, oh of course, then, then I want to come down and buy this field. But we might have enough money by then. I don't know. This one's two acres. This one, this one's only sixteen thousand, so that's a good price. Um, you, I always want to make sure that I have enough money though to buy more fields because I don't want to get stuck in this loop of doing like the daily jobs because that would not be good. And then because we're still into August, in September is. Kind of when I want to be um, doing the plowing, the cultivating, the seeding, and you know the fertilizing and all that stuff. No, the sun is going to set. Oh, L. Gotta turn the lights on. I couldn't remember. Could not remember what the light button was. So we'll get this back up, um, or we'll get this back up to the field, and we will. Um, let's see. I guess we'll just kind of get back to the house, get ready for bed. Was that a sun dog? That almost looks like no. It's not a sun dog. That's a lens flare. That little. Very top right, the little kind of rainbow, green and red thing. Kind of looks a little bit like a sun dog, but it's not a sun dog. It can't be a sun dog because it's not in the sky. It's, off, you know, obviously it's a lens flare. It's a flare dog. A lens sun. I don't know. Um, also, if you have mushrooms, there is a mushroom. Um, if you have mushrooms, you can make... Um, Another type of soup? I can't remember what it was. I can't remember if it's like a mushroom and tomato soup or whatever, but these are the mushrooms. I'm going to be saving those. I just saw... Yeah, there it is. Pick up the mushrooms. I have found some strawberries. There were some people, they're like, there's not any strawberries in the game. But, well, there, there definitely are strawberries. Um. <clears throat> oh, no. All right. I don't remember where I started. The, oh, I started the field up here. That's right. I'm like driving away and I could have just stayed right there. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me once again uh, for some Farmer's Dynasty. I'm Like I said, I'm really sorry that it took uh, so long for me to start recording again. I really love this game. Um, keep, you know, if you guys are interested in it, keep checking on Steam. Check every day because you never know when it's going to become available again. Um... And then, oh, I wanted to check one other thing. I can't remember if I mentioned this in one of the last episodes, but um, somebody kept telling me, oh, there's egg. There's like one more like set of eggs in the back here. So, yeah, I don't know why they did, did it that way, but there uh, are some more eggs back there that I can get now. So whoever sent in that suggestion, I forget your name because it was a couple weeks ago, but thank you so much for that. And let's go check on the, um, no, oh, that's just the condensed milk. Yeah, I cannot remember, I don't, that's weird that the, let's see, tomato sauce, tomato, 
Fish in tomato sauce. You don't need tomatoes to make that. As long as you catch both of these fish, you can make those soups. Weird. Very strange. I did. Where did I see it? Maybe, maybe that recipe with the uh, mushrooms hasn't been implemented yet or something. Or maybe it's something that only your wife can make. Like, you have to have the... To the the I don't know I I really don't know guys but thanks so much for hanging out with me once again this has been Farmer's Dynasty as always if you enjoy the series do not oh we got some nice wake up music now which I'm not sure if we had that in the last episode either um yeah if if you enjoy the series please don't forget to hit the like button um leave a comment and if you haven't done so please subscribe for this and many more videos guys i am bradm73 and i will see you next time bye for now <laughs>